probably should say. I don't know. Hoobin? I'm, I'm transitioning. I'm getting Transitioning? Yeah. Yep. Good. Okay. Technically, Rebecca Hoobin. Yeah. Suds, for Suds. short. Suds, for short. Um, so, Wildcats on the back foot straight away. They won't be happy with that. Of course, the Wildcats teams have done well at these nationals over the last few years, but this year have decided to split their three teams evenly. Mm. X, Y, Z. Yeah. X, Y, Z. So... Perhaps not as strong as they have been in the past. Mm. So may have an uphill challenge against a very strong Australian team. Goes did just score the downwind. There's quite a bit of a wind, although you probably can't see it from the trees behind the field. Uh, but it is a strong upwind downwind uh, going from the left of your screen to the right. You may be able to pick it up in the effects mics, but big pull. That's nice. It's going to float. Beautiful loft. Always picking it up. And it looks like Isaac Harper picks up the disc to Tyler Tito of Smith. Handling with Tyler, yep. Cheeky over the, top. over the top. Very difficult to tell who it is. Horan. One of the Horans. Yep. One of the two brothers. Very promising young players in Wellington. Got some nice sideline going on from the Goeys. They've definitely got players on both sides. Good communication happening. It looks like mesh on the disc. Yep. He looks long temporarily and then looks for his dump. That's nice. High release backhand. So Tyler Titov Smith has the disc. Looking oh, for Angus Horan. Look at that cheeky ins. <laughs> Little high release back to Tyler. Love a good high release. Tyler's got several of them. Here we go. He's looking. Looking. Oh, misread from his from his dump. Unfortunately, the disc finds the ground, so wind's picking up again. You can probably hear that in the mics as well. Goan is yeah. heading into it. Bit of miscommunication from uh, Tyler and Isaac there. Unfortunate. Disc goes up. A great grab from the goies. Some great flow happening. Moving very quickly down the field. Resetting well. That's nice. Good swing. There we go. Like clockwork. Beautiful. Beautiful point. So nice and clinical from Goeys. Of course, goanas, I'm told, is like an iguana animal didn't know that. I just know it from the alcoholic beverage that yeah. we get here in New Zealand, which is disgusting. It is it is horror fuel. Grape flavoured energy drink combined with alcohol. Yeah, presumably vodka, but I wouldn't really I don't know if I'd trust that advertising. Moonshine maybe. Just straight methylated spirits. Mm -hmm. Also, the way that I pronounce Goanas is apparently wrong. Oh. Goanas. Goanas. Goanna. Is Goey's all right for short, though? Oh, that's all right, then. All We've right. got the nod from our resident Australian on Excellent. the camera. I feel like Goey's is quite catchy. I like Goey's. It's easier to cheer than Goanas. Goanas. Go. Oh, Goanas. Damn it. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. No, that's me just being... Cheeky. A bit oh, cheeky. Oh, beautiful Great ball, ball to the back of the end zone. A so bit is of contact that happening at the Neil front. On it is. The disc. It looks like it. Although I'm a bit blind, so if it's not, I'm sorry, Andy Neil and whoever I'm saying that you are. Great. Beautiful. Pose. Oh, is that Angus? Don't, yeah, it looks like Angus Horan. Lee's got the disc. Lee, Lee Yo, Yo, president of the Victoria University of Wellington Flying Disc Club. And we've got some admin uh, representation <laughs> happening. Angus's. And oh, beautiful, course, beautiful pass. Leo as well, coach of the New Zealand under-24 men's team to compete in Heidelberg later mm. this year. He's a multi-talented man. Look at that putt. Just going up. Look it looks at that like, putt. Is that Isaac <gasps> Harp? No, oh. Rob. I think that's Rob couldn't quite get on the Unfortunate. end. Unfortunate. It was a beautiful box, but and not quite enough. Dan Aldridge looking for the tidy up. Couldn't quite get there either. Mm. He's a fast man, is Dan Aldridge. Incredibly uh, You can fast. tell by him uh, chasing that other man long right now. So Goanas now have Long the is also looking fast. Look at him go. They have the opportunity downwind. Yeah. That's a beautiful Just pass right there. Working it up that line. Oh, a little bit of a fall over on the mark. That's a nice under. So He's looking deep. Now looking for his dump. Just tight match mark from Wildcats. Beautiful. Great layout beautiful. attempt from Lee. Wow, Lee will always do it. Faking the high release. Looking for his dump, looking for his dump. And the comes around and the puck goes up. It's huge. <gasps> oh, that's a great take. Well not taken. In, not in. Peter Boardman giving Resets good to the middle. Good choice, good choice. Pick called. What looks like a pick. Yep, pick called. It's 
So Goanna is in a great position here to make it 3-0. Great grab there. It was good choice to send for it. And you can see the pick happening there. Mm. Go is showing a lot of maturity and <gasps> and great defense, Andy Neal. Just, yeah, just as I was about to say, in terms of the rest of their play so far, Goes have shown quite a bit of composure. Maybe a little bit trigger happy on that one throw, but also Andy, Andy Neal is just a... He's a Neal. He's a Neal. He's also a monster ID. I mean, they're all, they all are usually. The Neal is, of course, one of New Zealand's most celebrated Frisbee families, <laughs> if not the most celebrated Frisbee family. Def definitely the most well represented, I think, at Wilts. <laughs> That's a beautiful pass to Dan Aldridge, who's looking deep. Looks for it, Lee. Beautiful. So Leo oh! Floaty, but yeah. well taken by, it looks like Angus Horan. We're, we're definitely going to get the horns mixed up at some stage. And lay up lay that. opportunity just out of reach. Late, of late lay. you got to lay early if you want it. Early bird gets the lay. Early bird gets the lay. Yeah, no, that sounds... That's, there's yeah. a lot of bird things going on there. Mm, mm. Bit, too, bit too many mixed euphemisms right there, sorry. Mm. It's okay, we'll forgive you. Mm, mm. This is my first game commentating, so I'll get there. So Goey's now good opportunity beautiful again. Pass. Puts beautiful. it oh, up that. straight away. Is it going to stay in field? Looks oh. like it will. And oh. bit of skybox slams the oh. disc on the ground. Loves it. That was a beautiful put. That was a beautiful put from I can't see his number. He's as we watch this on the replay. Ninety-eight. Excellent put and well boxed Chris. out in the end. Oh, Chris, Chris takes the attempt on D, misses it. Chris does very well, but the disc treated with absolute disdain by the Australian <laughs> player. Some disc respect. If you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> Love a pun. <laughs> I'd apologise, but it's going to happen again. So. <laughs> apologise in advance. Um, so just a reminder, at halftime in this game, we will stop covering it, and instead we'll be coming back to field number one where the under-24 women's team from Australia, the Stingrays, who just beat their fellow compatriots, the Blaze, on Universe Point in their quarterfinal, they will be taking on the New Zealand under-24 women's team in the showcase game here in Upper Hutt. I'm very excited. What a time. What so, a time. I've, after, after being on the team that's played Stingrays in their first game versus uh, watching one of uh, Blaze's first games, that's fantastic. And I think that Stingrays must have really pulled together and started doing some gel. That's beautiful, beautiful ultimate. Uh, we'll go back to this game, though. Cheeky over the top so from Leo. Tyler Titov-Smith on the disc, faking that high release again. Finds, Let's looks like real. the other Horan is out there now. Hamish Horan. <gasps> and unfortunately, from Tyler. Tyler can't hold that one in, but... On defense now. Go, he's looking to make it four in a row. Hopefully we see some more of that composure that they've, they've had early in the game. So, reminder, it is a quarterfinal going on over there. It is knockout. So, everything to play for. Blady, but it's come off. Wind is picking up again. Pick called. Looks like a fairly standard structure, just uh, from what I can see from our far vantage point, it looks just like a normal vertical. Nothing exciting, but if the basics are beautiful, then why change them? And that looks like it was pretty basic and pretty beautiful. There we go. What a, what a nice point from Goes. So Goey's up 4-0 over Wildcat Z. Mm. The spread across the Wildcats teams in terms of players, uh, they've, they've got quite a diverse, I would say, in terms of skill and consistency. 
but generally the top five on each team are quite good. I think there would be four or five of those Wildcats players who have competed at Worlds in some mm. yeah. division, at least in age group. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. We've got the, I think both the Horns represented uh, the Marvellous DC Club at Club Nationals. Uh, Wildcats at Club Nationals. Wildcats at Club Nationals, correct, yeah. Uh, Leo was at Lee NBC. has yep. represented New Zealand a number of times. A number of times. Dan Aldridge, Club Nets. And? And, and World, oh, sorry, Club Worlds as well as Worlds. Yeah. Andy Neal, He's certainly. Oh, yep. Tyler Tito Smith, certainly. Almost rose on to the car park, but um, luckily hauled out. You could just see the Stingrays preparing there in that corner. So that wind really picking up uh, late this is in the not, day. This is not a good this is not a good corner to get stuck in unfortunately for the Wildcats and that is a turnover. Goey's taking their time to set up their offense. Swings it. Oh what's that Andy again? Andy Neal. Andy Neal, what a machine. Hopefully we can get a replay of that. But in the meantime, Wildcats on the disc. Centering the disc, moving it downfield. Hamish Horan to Andy Neal. Sends it. Pops it in the inside out. I'm not sure who that is. Can't tell with the cap. Green cap, very striking though. Oh. And Andy Neal gets high. And they and score an And he takes the Beautiful. point. Andy Neal doing some work out there. So not sure if we can go back to that defense. Don't think we can. But Time you might again. be able to rewind it on your own stream. But anyway, good patience from the Wildcats. Great work from Andy Neal getting free. Just jinking his defender, faking him out, and ends up being free in the zone. Mm. Well, Kat's taking a bit of time as Goey's set up on their own line to have a bit of what looks like a team chat, but not a timeout. So if we look here, we're trying to find that defense from Wildcats. Looks like we missed it. That's okay. Great work from Wildcats, though, to first turn that over and second, keep composure and score. Andy Neal, very integral part of that Wildcat Z team, as you may be able to tell. Probably him and Dan the most experienced, uh, experienced hands on the field at the moment, uh, with some very solid auxiliary support from Isaac Harper and Leo. So pull Wildcats goes up. putting it up. Beautiful pull. Beautiful pull right to the middle of the end zone. Centered. And they come down just man. Tight match mark looks like. Normal vertical structure. Looking for that up the line and they and get it. Great put. Angus Horan and doing it's up. his win some beautiful best. flow play. <gasps> get up son. Yeah there we go. Goey's doing it easy. Beautiful. That's smooth offense. Would have liked to see that defender in the zone go up a little bit earlier, back themselves a little bit. But So as we see here, just great continuation play. Angus Hora making a great bid on the mark, but unfortunately couldn't stop mm. it and instead results in a point to Goey's. Some smooth upwind offense right there. Goey's showing Wildcats how it's done at the moment, 5-1. Considering Wildcats do come from the Wellington region, would expect their uh, out one offense to look just as slick, but it, it seems Goey's defense is definitely on, on point. Must say, though, this wind is very much coming and going. At yeah. the moment, it feels very still. And about five minutes ago, gustery. Mm. Gust, gustery, gustery, gusty. Gustery would blustery would be the word that you are looking for. It's been a long day. Uh, has, has, <laughs> hasn't both sitting of the last days. It's been, it's been a long day sitting here <laughs> talking. He says to the person next to him who's played six, <laughs> six games in two days, but it's fine. <laughs> Beautiful pull from Goeys. 
Not a lot um, of float. It might roll out it might the back. Roll out the back. Oh, well done. Oh well my god. Up. Catches it one hand. One hand, one bounce. Hmm. So Tyler Titov Smith. Again, Who's he looking, looking for cutters. For? He <laughs> finds mesh. From, no, sticky. Oh, nice to sticky. Mesh? No. Is it? It's not mesh. Definitely not mesh. Moving so through we're, the handlers. We are sitting a whole field away, so it's quite hard to tell who players are. They do look quite small on the screen as well. Um, but Wildcats do retain possession, though great defense. Andy Neal through the middle. Gets it just in front of the zone, uh, just in front of the stack, and it goes up. Great grab, beautiful grab. He's looking, looking downfield. And again, Leo there Leo's to get it. Leo's also doing work. Violation is called. Can't can't really see what for, but Leo has called a violation. It is uncontested that Australian player was signaling with zero. But Lee throws it away. Isaac not quite ready for that swing. Immediately. Isaac Harper, of course, is representing New Zealand as well at Youth World Championships. Looks like Lee Yo and Mark. So Goey's faking high Looks release. For the high, oh, I love a good high release. <laughs> Just swings it wide. Nice. I would say if there was a high side of the field, it would be the far side, even though it is quite a up one down wind. So then working it down the sideline is a little bit risky, but the wind has died at the moment. So the shot goes up. And it up. goes up. Beautiful. Goeys are doing it easy at the moment. Wildcats need to find an extra gear. <laughs> what a spike. <laughs> We've got another disc spike. That disc is going to be munted by the end of the game. It's a very... What a Kiwiism. Munted. Munted. I'm sure the Aussies will know that one, though. Wait for this one. And <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's High a, spirits from the goies. It's a greatest chicken wing spike. <laughs> Jumps up in the air and gets rid of it very quickly. Slam dunk. Don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Goes with some serious chat, all their support stuff on the field. Wildcats looking a bit dejected. How many Wildcats, how many um, games with the Wildcats have played so far uh, before this one? They would have had three yesterday and probably two this morning. So I'd say mm. this would be their sixth. This is their sixth. At any rate, of clearly course, not same. quite as many uh, subs as the goies, and maybe feeling a little bit more than the goies. So that pull staying in. And just working it down that far edge of the Wildcats, swinging it back defense. into the middle. Just man defense. Working it beautifully between each other. Angus That's Horan nice. now on the disc. We've got both Horans there. Hamish. Horan to Horan pass. Oh, will it be for us? Oh, little, died a little bit too much on that downwind pass. But just the Horans working the t between the two of them. Love to see that. I mean, siblings should show a little bit more love to each other. That throw should have had a bit more love. Beautiful wide, wide swing into the middle of the zone. And cut off by Dan Aldridge, it looks like. Rob for the score. Very Who easy then also for the spikes <laughs> Not Spike. straight at the ground, but... Uh, it's just Spike City. <laughs> Spike City. We do have Spike Ball being played to our left. Mm, mm. Maybe taking some inspiration. Yeah, it does look like a fairly serious game between uh, the uh, barely legal team. Mostly made up of uh, U20s, I believe. So it looks like the Goeys didn't really see Dan Aldridge poaching in that lane. Throw it straight at him, and it's an easy pass mm. back into the zone. Looks like it was Rob who scored. Mm. Rob, another promising young player in the, from the Wellington region. To be fair, Dan Aldridge is an incredibly fast man. Maybe if he was just lurking around, they didn't quite think he'd get there. Can confirm, fast man. Mm. Or maybe I'm slow. Oh. Oof. Both. <laughs> <laughs> 
If we, if we do have the halftime races for the finals, I do hope Dan enters. It'd be quite interesting. Fun to watch. So Wildcats claw one back, 6-2. Um, as the points cap has changed throughout every game, effectively, that we have covered, um, some being a points cap of 13, some being 15, given the size of pools. Mm. I'm not quite sure what happens in the quarters. I'd hazard a guess that it goes up to 15. Pull from Andy Neal, that's nice. Not quite to the brick mark. Picks it up, swings early. Just normal man defense. Horro. Horro being played by the looks of it. Forcing goes back. Good defense from the Wildcats. Looking to work it through the middle. Beautiful swing. Handler's being patient. Nice wide swing to that far side. He's and looking downfield. Threads it down the middle. Nice. And again, another low release forehand. And quick offensive play from Goeys. The shot goes up into the zone. <gasps> Big layout. A little bit, little bit too much juice on that one. Not Just quite there. A little bit too much spice. Didn't, spice on that pass. Didn't end up laying out in the end. I saw him line Thinking it up. Thinking about it. But just out of reach yeah. of a layout. Andy Neal's picked up the disc there on the low side of the down one side. Of as the we field. see Doggo in the background as oh, well. He is a cutie. Layout from, can't tell to pick that one up. But it looked like a bit of a Andy Neal's going to work. <gasps> Big swing. And a great effort by Not quite looks enough like from Tyler. Tyler yeah. couldn't grab that one. Wildcats just needing to tighten up those basics. Getting a bit rushed on the disc. Go is doing very well to pressure Wildcats. And the Credit throw defense. straight That's away. Nice. Simple, effective ultimate. Seven two is the score. Seven two is the score. So it looks like it will be a game to fifteen as halftime hasn't been taken yet. The next game, of course, that we're streaming, the showcase game, is starting at 5 p.m., so we will leave you at halftime of this game in order to get set up. Under-24 Australian girls team against the under-24 New Zealand girls team. Both teams, of course, competing in Heidelberg, Germany. Uh, later this year. June, yep. So Goey's doing it comfortably at the moment. 7-2. Can they take half? 7-2 with some clinical offense and some big pressure defense. Haven't seen a zone from either team, uh, which considering I suppose the wind is a little bit gusty, a little bit blustery, but um, could be an option for uh, Wildcats to try and pull it out to slow down Goey's smooth de uh, offense. And it's Rolly a roller. Pull. Oh, so but it's, it's right out from the start. Right out. Uh, we have um, a helpful Goey on the sideline signaling from where it went out. So a bit of a reprieve for Wildcats. Easy territory. It is still one I would I would think of as the low side of the field, even though it is sort of a strict up one down one. But there is enough that I think this corner is a little bit more difficult than the other one. We'll see how they go. Hopefully uh, they play some clinical offense and swing to center. Is that Nick That's Bielby? Nick Bielby Nick, in the oh, green hat. No, it was the way he walked. <laughs> it's a strange man. So Nick Bielby doing... Passing it straight to a goey. Unfortunate and unforced. Looking downfield. So goey's looking to take half. Oh, that's Pretty a beautiful up the line shot. But that he could have taken and didn't. Maybe both teams just getting a little bit, a little bit trigger happy, a little bit, a uh, bit of miscommunication from so some of the cutters. Leo and will pick it up. Probably about 20 meters shy from where they were before. Swings it to looks like Peter Boardman. Gets it straight back. So Lee several people finds, cut to the same place. Finds Nick Bielby, who then passes to Hamish Horan. Threads it down the middle, that's to nice. Angus Horan. S sibling Horan point. Who swings, swings it, it across. again to Hamish Horan. 
This is cute. Looks downfield. Who gets nice. it to mesh, perhaps. Go to it, buddy. Angus oh. Horan can't reel it in. There isn't a call, so just no, a straight I think turn. that was, yeah. It looked clean from the go. He had the good line. Angus was a little bit behind, but if he'd boosted through, could have taken position. Unfortunate. So Wildcats will want to put lots of pressure on, try and force a turn this end of the field. Megan, easy, easy up the line. Here we go. So guys He's looking downfield. The big shot. Gets downfield. Looking downfield. And gets here downfield. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be oh uncontested except by his own teammate. Beautiful. Too easy, as far as guys are concerned, and they do take half, eight points to two. We will be leaving you there because very shortly we have our showcase game. See you soon.
Good evening, everyone. Here we are at the U24 Women's Game. Uh, Kareareo from New Zealand is dressing up against uh, Stingrays from Australia. I'm here, Rebecca Soper, Wellington Vis Sports President, uh, here with my fellow exec member, Heather Hickey. Hello. Kareareo have just finished their cheer. Eva Weatherall giving some last minute comments to her ladies, checking the wind. We're still on the far field at the moment, I believe. So we're looking at Wildcats Z versus Guanas. What a pull. Out the field, unlucky. Unlucky indeed. The wind does appear to have died somewhat uh, compared to earlier in the day. So we are looking for some uh, beautiful, hopefully ultimate happening. Somewhat atypical of Wellington's typical weather. All right, we'll join you on the other stream on the other side. Alti.tv.